tropical reefs have a unique biodiversity. It is one of the most complex ecosystems on the planet and are home to more than 3,000 different species of fish, 600 species of corals and thousands of other plants and animals. From the largest whales and sharks to huge shoals of fish. Here are fish of all colors and shapes. From great giant clams to the smallest centers like nudie branches, bristle worms, and little pygmy seahorse, tiny as a grain of rice. Coral reefs are the most diverse ecosystems in the oceans and are truly called the rainforest of oceans. The rich coral reefs provide food for millions of animals and people. Despite this enormous abundance, there are dangers to the reefs. In only a few decades, they can vanish. The increasing population growth and greater demand for food increases the pressure on the oceans in the search for fish and other resources. Climate change directly affects the reefs with coral bleaching and acidification of the sea. The sea gets warmer and the warmer water causes the corals to bleach and die. That, together with many local factors like pollution, overfishing and increased tourism, push the reefs beyond the border. The great pressure on coral reefs has major consequences that affect both animals and humans. Masuk air di dalam kampung ya dipindah ke sini. Air asin masuk ke. Sudah lumayan sudah tergantung musimnya juga. Ya, musim. Kalau musim angin seperti ini agak susah kita karena kalau kita nyelam pakai apa nih? Snorkeling. Ya. Ya. Jadi kalau ombak. ombak kan masuk air. Ya, enggak susah. Karang di sini masih bagus, masih bagus. Pakai bubuh saja, pancing, panas. Nelayan-nelayan dari luar yang datang mengambil ikan dengan cara tidak baik seperti uh, bom, seperti sianida. Jadi yang penting jangan pakai potasium, ya atau yang dilarang lah, atau pakai bom, ya. Scientists say that up to 90% of the world's coral reefs may already have disappeared in 2050. This means that a large number of climate issues that we call horror scenarios, they become reality. Sea temperatures in the tropics are so high that it is not something that can support coral life as we know it today. Jadi mereka nanti kalau besar nanti kalau semua karang-karang itu sudah mati, ikan itu hidup di mana? 